just, I can't, I just can't be loving you no more I just, I can't, I just can't be loving you no more I just, I can't, I just can't be loving you no more I just, I going on youtubers well like I promised I'm gonna do a uh, cooking tutorial today um, we're gonna do the wasabi trout I've never done a uh, cooking tutorial before uh, I've never done a tutorial period so bear with me and I uh, guarantee you're gonna love the way I cook this this is one of my uh, wife's favorite uh, ways I cook it. Again, like I said, it's wasabi trout. All right, so the ingredients you're gonna need, and I also will put them in the description, and uh, I will uh, put them up on the uh, on the screen here. But uh, you're gonna need some soy sauce, uh, olive oil, some wasabi paste, um, minced garlic, um, oregano, black pepper, of course you need the trout and you need a uh, Cajun, pinch of Cajun to put on afterwards. Also you're going to need uh, uh, a baking, uh, <clears throat> I use a glass baking pan and it also calls for lining it so it doesn't burn and um, destroy your pan or your dish or whatever you want to call it. All right. Now the recipe does call for um, filleted trout but I don't fillet the trout my wife doesn't she likes to keep a hole cuz uh, when you fillet you, she just wastes a lot of the meat on the bone we'll sit there she'll pick through it and uh, take the bones out but uh so yeah today I went to a lake St. Clair's and um, I caught the big one here that's today's and then the other two are from uh, another fishing adventure so those from the freezer so I also like to do is after I rinse them off, I like to dry them up. And the first thing we're gonna do actually is make the uh, sauce. So I go ahead and I got a gallon bag because we're gonna put every all the ingredients in here. We're gonna mix it up and then we're gonna score the skin of the trout. We're gonna put them in there on a hole. Minus the head, of course, you saw, and minus the tail and the fins. That's how the wife likes it. And then we're going to go ahead and let it sit for 15 minutes after uh, we get all the ingredients in, in there and fish prepped. Okay? So first things first, you need a quarter cup of soy sauce. Now, it doesn't uh, specify type of soy sauce I know they're just different like uh, like um, colors darker the darker it is I guess use on your own discretion and please I'm very uh, picky about keeping your areas clean Constantly rubbing, wiping things down, especially when I'm missing with like chicken and or any kind of meat, fish, chicken, beef, pork. Okay, so that's a fourth cup of soy sauce. Next, I need uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. Now it just says olive oil, but I got extra virgin here, so two tablespoons. Wasabi paste. Your wasabi paste you get paste you can actually find find at Walmart. 
I, I'd, uh, I order a lot of our stuff online, so it, it actually this is one of the deliverable items. So we need two teaspoons. Now remember, ingredient uh, the recipe is just a guideline, guys. You know, the guideline of what the basic stuff that goes in there. You know, so if you like more, want a little more kick to it, go ahead and add a little more wasabi to it. You know. garlic I'm gonna go ahead and uh, break down my own garlic and crush it up so it says a teaspoon of minced garlic but uh like I said me and the wife we love garlic so we're not gonna even weigh or measure that out we're just gonna put a bunch of garlic here to squish it up this is the best garlic right here freshly minced squeezed However you want to call it. in there uh, quarter teaspoon of oregano called for the uh, occasion but that goes on uh, right before you put it in the oven so I got the mixture all in there as you can see now we're gonna go ahead and mix all this stuff up in there Now, if you, if you really like the sauce, I'd encourage you to put a little more ingredients in. Because uh, after we get done baking this, you'll see what I'll do with the sauce. 
And like I said, my wife, she loves this. And she, uh, we tried it with chicken one night too, the sauce, and it was, it was fabulous. Cause you guys know I don't eat much uh, fish myself. I'll, I'll taste it and try it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a mind over matter thing. I never uh, enjoy, uh, enjoyed eating fish when I was younger. But I'll, I'll smoke some fish and I'll eat smoked fish. And there you go, there's the sauce right here. Damn. So we're gonna sit that to the side real quick. Now one, one big thing I am uh, a fan of is uh, cleaning up as you go. My wife, she likes to pull everything out of the kitchen and dirty it and leave it there for the next person. But I'm not like that. All right, so we're gonna come back to the fish. Like I said, we're gonna make sure they're dried off. And then we're gonna go ahead and score them. We're gonna go ahead and make diagonal cuts right along the diagonal side of the uh, rib cage, so you're not cutting into bone and separating it. I mean, it doesn't matter, but that's just me preferably how I do it. And like I said, what we're what we're doing is uh, we're gonna set the fish in the uh, sauce and then let it marinate for a good 15, 15, 20 minutes before we uh, bake this bad boy. So make sure you score both sides. Yeah, the one I caught today was almost about 14 and a half inches long. Nice big guy. The only one I caught today. Wednesday I caught for my limit. Now the preference yours if you want to scale your fish, we don't descale them. They uh, the scales are so small that when you cook, you don't even notice they're there. They cook with the fish, so. But that's up to you. That's preference. fish I had in the store in the freezer still looks almost new. But that's the whole reason why I got me a, uh, a vacuum seal vacuum. The fish stay uh, fresher longer. There you go. So we're going to go ahead and take the fish, set them in here. Ooh, I can smell the wasabi already. take most of the air out and then we're going to seal it up. This will be delicious guys. My daughter, she don't eat much fish either, but this is her favorite way too. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and set it in the refrigerator and let this coat in, sit in there for about 15, 20 minutes. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. It's been about 20 minutes. Uh, we let the uh, trout marinate into the sauce we made. Go ahead and 
grab that out of the refrigerator. And while we were letting it marinate, we also uh, preheated the oven at 450. Our pan. Like I said, I like to use the glass. It's lined with uh, aluminum foil. Now you want to take some uh, olive oil and go ahead and sprinkle it at the bottom of the uh, this uh, pan. What I'm doing now is letting the excess oil work around the pan. Remember that uh, Cajun seasoning? Well, I like to crisp the whole outside of the skin, so I'm going to go ahead and pour some on the pan. <clears throat> So, we'll go ahead and take our trout. pieces anyways. There we go. Next we'd like to take the excess uh, sauce and we're going to go ahead and pour it all over the top of this delicious don't it all right we should have been almost done uh the oven should be almost done preheating so well as soon as the oven's done preheating then we'll go ahead and throw it in there all right all right it's time to put it in the oven uh cook time is about 10 to 15 but since we we're putting them in whole we're, we're not doing fillets I like to put it in there for at least 20 minutes. The wife says that uh, it's cooked perfectly. I think that's what Nick said too. Yeah, I also kick cook for my boy Nick. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and set the timer. Trying to take it out of the oven. It looks delicious. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that looks delicious. All right, there we go. So what I did was just lay down some rice, some white rice, regular white rice, and um. Microwave some peas, and I didn't put no butter, no salt, no pepper in it. And then I went ahead and laid the trout on top and then drizzled the sauce on top. Whew! Same thing. This will be the wife. Oh, look at that. It's delicious.
It is late at night, so she is sleeping. But when she wakes up in the morning, she'll just have to just warm it up. But Nick's gonna like this. There you go. Also, real quick, because we lined the uh, the pan with the uh, the glass pan with the um, aluminum foil, no mess. <laughs> All right, YouTube. That's it. Um, that is the wasabi trout. Um, go ahead and try it out and let me know how you like it. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, son. I can I just can be I just I can I just can be loving you no more. I just I can I just can be I just I can I just can be I just I can I just can be loving you no more.